This video will examine Cournot with cooperative conjectural variation. So what is conjectural variation? We're going to no longer assume a firm takes its rival's actions as given. A firm might expect its decisions will change the behavior of its competitor. Firm 1's conjectures are going to be given by the following function. Firm 1, for example, might think that if it were to raise output by one unit, the other firm might respond by raising its output by one unit. Or maybe the firm thinks that if it were to reduce its output by one unit, maybe the other firm would increase its output by one unit to make up for the shortfall. Firm 2's conjectures look like this, again given by a function. And in this video we're going to look at cooperative conjectural variations. Suppose that if one firm restricts output by one unit, the other firm restricts output by one unit. In this case, if we were to take the derivatives of each of these functions up above, assuming this cooperative conjectural variation, the derivatives will be plus one. If firm one reduces its output by one unit, the other firm will cooperate reducing and restricting its output by one unit. The typical Cournot model assumes that both of these derivatives equal zero. So we have a two-firm Cournot with a market demand given by market inverse demand given by price equals 250 minus Q. The marginal cost of production for each firm is four. So let's start from firm one's perspective. Firm one's revenue is price times quantity where Q subscript 1 is firm 1's output. So revenue is price times quantity, 250 minus Q, multiplied by firm 1's output. Q is the total market output. So here is the key. The total market output consists of firm 1's output plus firm 2's output, where firm 2's output, Q subscript 2, is a function of firm 1's output. So this term in red here is firm 2's output as a function of firm 1's output. And then, of course, this is all multiplied by firm 1's output. So just multiplying this Q subscript 1 here through what's in brackets simplifies to this expression. Now we can take a derivative to get marginal revenue. So taking the derivative of the revenue function with respect to Q subscript 1, we get this result. Okay, notice right here, uh, this, last, this last term, the derivative of this last term, we get Q subscript 2, and we get Q subscript 1 times the derivative of Q subscript 2 with respect to Q subscript 1. Okay, moving on. Again, we're going to note that with cooperative conjectural variations, the sign of this derivative is just 1. So I'm just going to set this derivative equal to 1. Doing that, marginal revenue now looks like this. Simplifying a little bit more. And now setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal cost is 4. Solving for Q subscript 1. So I solve for Q subscript 1, we get firm 1's reaction function. Firm 2, by symmetry, since we have the same cost structure here, firm 2's reaction function is just going to be the mirror image of firm 1's. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. Substituting firm 2's reaction function into firm 1's reaction function. That's what I'm showing in this step here. And then I'm just going to skip some steps. I'm just going to solve this for Q subscript 1. So skipping that algebra, Q subscript 1 equals 61.5 units. And we could plug this 61.5 back into firm 2's reaction function. And firm 2 will produce 61.5 units. The total output in the market then is 61.5 plus 61.5, or 123 units. And the market price, take the inverse demand, 
250 minus Q, where Q is 123, we get a market price of $127 per unit. This is a monopoly outcome based on the assumed cooperative conjectural variation. I can prove that this is a monopoly outcome by solving this using a monopoly solution. So if this was a two-firm cartel, what would they do? They'd set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Here's marginal revenue given this inverse demand, just the inverse demand with a slope that is twice as steep, setting that marginal revenue equal to marginal cost, solving for Q. Total market output is 123. Both firms split the output. They're each producing 61.5 with a market price here of $127. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.